<laughs> okay, welcome to video uh, number three here, or your uh, trig test review. Now, the first, what is that, uh, 10 problems here, no, 12 problems that I have here. If you don't know your uh, unit circle, I don't know what you're going to do here. You need to know your relationships, your reciprocal relationships, your quotient relationships, but you need to know your unit circle because you can't go anywhere without that. For example, this says the sine of 210 degrees. I'm sure he's going to give you a unit circle that you can fill out, or maybe he's going to give you a piece of scratch paper so you draw it out. But you're going to need your unit circle, so if you've forgotten some, you practice it until you've got it down cold. Okay, unless all of a sudden he decides to give you the unit circle to use as a reference, like a cheat sheet or something, uh, which I don't want you to do unless, of course, he, he allows that uh, and, and hands those out himself. I want you to know your unit circle here so that you can work these problems out because these are not tough problems if you know your unit circle. These have got a little bit to them and these are just, this is just kind of Sokotoa stuff over here, but I'll show you what's going on in a second. All right, the sine of 210 degrees. In the third quadrant, sine is negative, this is negative one half. How easy was that? The tangent is 60 degrees. Now. I know my sines, I know my cosines, I don't know my tangents so well, but I know that the tangent is the sine of the angle over the cosine of the angle. So that's the sine of 60 degrees, which is the square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 half, and if you take this and invert and multiply by the reciprocal, and make sure that it's in simplest radical form, I get the square root of 3. The cosine is 7 pi over 6 which is the same as 210 degrees, third quadrant's negative, and this is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. I have that memorized. The sine of 135 degrees, it's in the second quadrant, sine's positive. All students take calculus, sine is positive in the second quadrant, it's positive square root of 2 over 2. The tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the sine of 30 degrees over the cosine of 30 degrees, which is one half over square root of three over two, which is uh, one half times the reciprocal, or two over the square root of three. Well, the twos cancel. I get one over the square root of three, but he'll take a point off, I'm sure, if you're left in that form because you have a radical in the denominator, so multiply by rationalizing the denominator and you get square root of three over three. Circle is here. There we go. The cosine of 300 degrees, that's in the third or the fourth quadrant. I know cosine is positive. In the fourth quadrant, I just have to figure out that it is positive one half. Now the sine of negative 30 degrees, negative 30, that's the same as the sine of 330. Add 360, get a coterminal angle. This is the sine of 330. And the sine of 330, well, sine is negative in the fourth quadrant, it's negative one half. The cotangent of 4 pi over 3 is the reciprocal of the tangent of pi over, 4 pi over 3. Tangent sine over cosine, so this is the cosine of 4 pi over 3 divided by the sine of 4 pi over 3. The cosine of 4 pi over 3 is the third quadrant that would be negative 1 half, and this would be negative square root of 3 over 2. So that's negative 1 half times the reciprocal, which is negative 2 over the square root of 3. Well, we've done this before. Negative times negative is positive, so that's 1 over the square root of 3, just like I did back here. Multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3, and I get the square root of 3 over 3. All right. Uh, the cosecant of 240 degrees, the cosecant and sine are reciprocals. This is 1 over the sine of 240 degrees, which is 1 over negative in the third quadrant. Sine's negative. Negative square root of 3 over 2 which is 1 times the reciprocal of negative 2 over the square root of 3, which is negative 2 over the square root of 3. Now, if I rationalize the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by the square root of 3, I get negative 2 square roots of 3 all over 3. All right. The sine of 90 of all of them, this is probably the easiest one, 90 degrees, the sine is the y value, that's 1. The uh, cosecant of pi over 6 is 1 over the sine of pi over 6. Not over cosine, that would be secant. Cosecant is 1 over sine, so this is 1 over, the sine of pi over 6 is a half, so this is 1 times the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1, or just 2. And last but not least, the secant of 30 degrees is 1 over the cosine of 30 degrees, which is 1 over the square root of 3 over 2 which is 1 times the reciprocal, 2 over the square root of 3. 
So that's 2 over the square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator by multiplying top and bottom. 2 square roots of 3 over 3. All right, now, you should be able to get this from the unit circle and knowing the relationships for the uh, trig function for tangent, for cotangent, for secant, for cosecant. And be careful with your signs, S-I-G-N-S, and be careful with your fractions and your radicals and such. But these next ones here, a little bit trickier. Uh, if you haven't tried these yet, try them first before you watch me work them out. All right, the inverse cosine of the square root of 2 over 2 means that this is some angle. And this angle is such that the cosine of this angle is the square root of 2 over 2. 2, excuse me. So you'd have to look in the table to see when the x value is the square root of 2 over 2. And that's going to happen at pi over 4 radians, which is 45 degrees. But, and that's the answer in all reality. That's the answer. But he lists both of them. He gives both of those answers. So he's going to probably want this to be not only... 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians, but he's also going to probably ask for the 315 degrees uh, because uh, both of those have a cosine that's the square root of 2 over 2. He's not thinking of this as an inverse function, more of an inverse relation when he lists both answers. Here again, I have to know the unit circle. The sign, did I have that up here? The sine of 2 pi over 3? No, it wasn't one of the, wasn't one of the problems. The sine of 2 pi over 3, that would be in the second quadrant's positive and that would be square root of 3 over 2, so this is the inverse sine of the square root of 3 over 2. Well, that happens in the first and second quadrant. Uh, so in the second quadrant, well, I already know which one it is in the second quadrant. In the first quadrant, you know, some angle such that the sine of this angle is the square root of 3 over 2. Well, that's going to happen at 60 degrees and at 120 degrees, or at pi over 3 radians and 2 pi over 3 radians. Okay, the next one here, I find the uh, cosine of pi over 3, which is a half. Again, you've got to know that table. And so this is saying the sine of what angle is a half? Because this is some angle whose sine is a half. Well, that happens in the first and second quadrant. That happens at 30 degrees and at uh, 150. So uh, 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians and 150 degrees, 5 pi over 6 radians. And they probably want radians since they gave it to the original angle in radians. But unless the direction say, you know, specific. All right, this last guy here, the arc uh, sine of negative square root of 3 over 2. The arc sine of negative square root of 3 over 2, you've got to be a little careful here. Uh, technically, the arc sine is a negative, for a negative value, would be a negative angle. But the way he's got it set up, I don't know if he's going to actually have you do it that way. But this should be negative 60 degrees. Okay, now he may say, that no, 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 we're going to use, because uh, cosine is positive uh, first and fourth, we're going to use 60 degrees and we're going to use 300 degrees. And I have no idea. I don't even think I brought, brought his key with me. But he may list both of these that you have to find, but the cosine of negative 60 degrees is uh, positive, square root, positive square root 3 over 2. So whether it's 60 degrees or 300 degrees, the cosine is square root 3 over 2 because they're both positive there. And that would be your single answer, answer there. All right, now the last ones, what you have to do here is you have to set up your right triangle and figure out your hypotenuse. Because I know that this is negative 8, negative 16, which means this is 8 units, this is 16 units. And when I did the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, I got this to be 8 square roots of 5. Because now I'm just going to use Sokotoa for this angle here. I'm in the third quadrant. I know what my x and my y are. That's it. So cosecant would be the 1 over the sine. So the sine value is, is the y. So this would be negative 16. And this, the hypotenuse, of course, is 8 square roots of, 5, uh, eight square roots of uh, 5. So it's the hypotenuse over the uh, opposite. So this would be... 8 square roots of 5 over negative 16 or negative square root of 5 over 2 if I didn't mess up. That one's got a little bit of thought to it. All right, if you hadn't tried that one and you watch me work it out, try the next five before you watch the rest of the video. Pause. I'm back. Okay.
draw your right triangle, it doesn't matter that the angle is negative or positive, it's because we have this point, we need this radius, so we can look at the relationship of the right triangle. So this is 3, and even though this is down, it would be negative 4, that's 4 units. So 3, 4, use the Pythagorean theorem, I find that the hypotenuse is 5. So the sine would be the opposite over the hypotenuse, negative 4 over 5. Well, we're cutting through these now. The tangent over here. Now, if I draw my right triangle here to the, to the x-axis, then this distance is 3, this distance is 12. I used the Pythagorean theorem. I found that this was the square root of 153, which is good news in that I don't really need it because I'm doing tangent. Tangent is the y over the x. So this is negative 12 over 3, which is uh, negative 4. All right, the next guy up is a cosine. Draw my right triangle. So this is 2 square root of 3 to the left, 2 down. That's why they're both negative. Do the Pythagorean theorem. This turns out to be 4. It's also a 30, 60, 90 if you look at the relationship on the sides here. So now what do I want for the cosine? The cosine would be the x over the r, so this would be negative 2 square root of 3 over 4, or negative square root of 3 over 2. Two to go here, the secant, which is 1 over the cosine, right? I draw my right triangle. This distance is 4, this distance is 3. All right, so 3, 4, 5, right triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem. The secant is 1 over the cosine. Now the cosine is the uh, adjacent over the hypotenuse, so this would be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So this would be 5 over positive 4. 5 fourths. Oh, I forgot to write down. This last one is cotangent of theta. The cotangent, again, because it's cotangent, even though this is a 3, 4, 5, I really don't need the, uh, the hypotenuse here because cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, 3, 4, so this would be 4 thirds because it's the reciprocal of tangent. All right, and all that's left are the graphs. Uh, and there are six graphs, but I am out of board space and I'm out of time for today. So I will make up one more video for you, but it won't be ready until tomorrow. So make sure that you hit these first uh, 44 problems pretty solid. All right, and give me a call if you have questions.